CrowdStrike taking down basically all Windows computers on the planet this month will be hard to beat, but July had some really cool updates, so let's get into it. I love this first update. Shad CN released some more UI components. This time it's charts, some great components to throw in your app, especially if you're building yet another dashboard. Upstash came out with some cool stuff for QStash. If you're wondering what QStash is, you can kind of think of it as if AWS EventBridge, SQS, and SNS had a baby, but it now offers an official SDK for Go. The UI also got reworked so things seem a lot easier to use and offers a lot more control directly and they also released qstash llm which makes it a lot easier to make ai requests in serverless functions you basically just make a request and once the llm has your answer it will call your endpoint with the response hano version 4.5 is out with some cool things like hano jsx which now supports react 19 apis like use form status and use action state a new middleware to restrict ips that can access resources another middleware to combine middlewares which gives you a lot more flexibility over how you combine them a new request id middleware to generate a unique id for each request and then a handle middleware adapter that now lets you run hano middleware as cloudflare pages middleware I definitely said the word middleware too much there. Gleam 1.3 is out now for those of you using Gleam. Things like auto imports with completion as you're typing, tolerant expressions, which basically means the language server is now even more tolerant to bad code, plus a lot of other improvements. Next UI looks to have joined the S24 YC batch, so we'll probably see a lot more from them now that it's being backed. Vtest 2.0 is out with a lot of stuff. From browser support to stability improvements to new features and a lot of bug fixes. If you use Vtest, I honestly recommend going through this list because there's a lot of stuff here. Railway added some improvements as well, such as being able to duplicate a service and a nicer deployment panel. Astro keeps killing it with some new exciting stuff. 4.12 was released with a new experimental feature, which they call server islands. If you're familiar with their existing client islands architecture, this basically just extends that to the server to now offer rendering of computer components on the server. This actually has a lot in common with PPR, partial pre-rendering. It also looks like they built CLSX into Astro for us Tailwind nerds by just using class list for your classes. Prisma 5.17 also came out with performance improvements to raw queries and the VS Code extension got some nice improvements like references across schema files, better context on hover, and some other fixes. And subscribe, like the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.